Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another eye racing. Right. I'm gonna do an unboxing once we've uh, we've raced a bit. Hi, right, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. Uh, we'll get we'll wait until there's a few people in. Right, I haven't got any. Uh, why haven't we got any sound? Never have any sound. Right, how are the dogs? Yeah, we're doing good. Well, I was going to do a desk game tonight, uh, today, but uh, I'm possibly going to be on a bit later tonight. I don't know yet. So I thought, well, I really fancy doing a bit of eye racing. And uh, I could always do a desk game on the night time, so. Alright. I don't know where the seat comes in at. Alright, so that's the seat in there. I'll maybe go down one. And we'll go over that. Alright, so a Mount Panorama. This is the car that I'm going to run with my dad. You miss the train sims, yeah, me too. I'll definitely get back into the train sims a bit, I was just really, really struggling with it, you know. So this is what I'm going to race with my dad on Tuesday. Uh, Wednesday, I think. Have a bit of a warm up lap. This wheel stinks. This wheel was in the garage where the where we had a bit of a flood, uh, and it was really mouldy and it absolutely stinks, man. That's why I've got my new one. That's why I can't wait to unbox it because it, this one reeks. Oh, this is going to be a good race round here. BMW wheel I use for like GT cars but gearbox cars I uh, use this one because it's got no paddle shifters on it Alright. 
Trippy's going to get removed eventually if he keeps going. Not by me, but uh, by everybody else. Right. So I've got my new wheel to unbox. So I'm going to take this one off and I'm just going to unbox it on the camera. So uh, I don't know how many people's actually in yet, like, but uh, yeah, we'll get it unboxed and out. And then I can do a few laps in it and then we can go and find a race somewhere. Right, uh, Mark, uh, my Stephen Wheel. Oh, that was a point I was meant to put on where the convoy starts, and I forgot. We started at Plymouth tonight, Euro Server 1, at 9 o'clock. Alright, so, take them two screws off. Take this one off. It wasn't a it wasn't a great lap. We'll get a good lap in with a new wheel on, right? So that's off. Uh, so for anyone interested, it's an OMP wheel. I ordered uh, I ordered one for me dad, so this is it, and one for me. I don't know how well you'll be able to see, like cause the light's really bad here, but all right. So here we go. There's the wheel for you, it's, uh, it's leather, same size as the one I was using, it's obviously with the yellow stitching. Uh, I think it looks nice, I don't know if I'll be able to leave the horn on or not, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I, I will modify it later on, so I can put the horn on if need be. That feels smaller than the other one, that. is that 350? That is not 350. I like it though. Yeah, that that there's no way that's 350. Where's my tape measure at? I'll tell you what. Funny because my dad wanted one that wasn't 350. So that's my new wheel. That's my old 350 one. And you can clearly see that it's not, this one is not 350. So it's probably about 3.30 I would say, something like that, but it feels fantastic, it feels really, really nice. Right, we'll get this on. I uh, need a set of snips. Where's my snips at? Nice, set off. How are we doing in chat? Well, uh, wheels are expensive. Uh, where did you put the wheel? Uh, th this rim I got from uh, eBay. It was uh, this one was forty. They were forty each. Could you make the speedo a bit smaller? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's just there's nothing to see here. It's just empty space. So I don't know why. You all want to see cables and and post. It just seems a bit wrong, but I can't move the camera because then you get glare on the uh, on the screen. Yeah, why do you want the speedo smaller though? I don't get it. Hey, Kev. <laughs> Unbox it after the race. Uh, no, 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 I want to unbox it now because I want to get it on. Did I sleep in my shoes, Kev? I did indeed. Wife wasn't happy about it, but I was very happy about it. Uh, right. No, honestly, I can't explain how bad this wheel smells, the other one. Honestly, it's going straight in the bin. It reeks. I mean, it was properly green, like, when we when we found it in the garage. Alright, uh, Philip, how are you doing, bud? Just bear with us, I'm having to take this safety bloody guard thing off. A pain. Right, so once that's off, 
I'm pretty sure I won't be able to leave the horn on. I'm pretty sure. No, right. So I'll take the horn off for now. I will put the horn back in, but I don't know if you can see at the moment, uh, the horn is quite thick. So I'll cut all this off just so I can have just a badge because uh, we don't need the horn. So just for now, I won't be using that. Right. So I should be able to just get away with using these here. Oh, this is nice. How are you? I'm doing good, mate. Yeah. Uh, how much was the setup? I have no idea. You don't just buy something like this. You buy it over time, and I've had an awful lot of support to buy it. So, how's it going today, Kev? What's on the cards anyway? What are you streaming today, pal? I want to have a good few laps in this car, and then we want, I want to go and find a race somewhere. Come on. I really need to find me other Allen keys, man. It looks so bad when you don't run the, the badge in the middle, I think. It looks terrible. But uh, it looks a nice wheel anyway. My dad's going to love it. My dad's is uh, coming in from uh, China, though, so his will be a bit longer than this one, unfortunately. Right, there we go. This is this is primarily the one I'm going to use for trucking. So, yeah, it feels good. It, it, it's, it's smaller than what I thought, so my dad's going to absolutely love it. Like It's definitely, definitely smaller than what, what I thought. He's going to absolutely love it. He, he wanted something that was uh, not 350. Change the car. What car do you want me to go to? Awesome, Kev. Sounds good, buddy. Feels good, feels really, the leather feels absolutely lovely on it. Stitching's really, really nice. Hi Charlie Frost PS4, how are you doing buddy? Uh, Ferrari F50, there isn't an F50 in the game so I can only drive what's in here. Yeah, we're doing farming today and I'm determined to get at least two hours on the farm. Ah, my favourite track, Bathurst. 
I'm online, but there's there's no one on at the moment on this race, so I'm gonna just do a few laps. Get used to the wheel with the wheel being a bit smaller. It's definitely definitely a bit odd. Right, how are you? Doing good, thank you, buddy. Uh, it's a Mustang. So it's the, R it's the RS500, I think. Struggles up the old hill, this does. Oh, I, I love the BMW rim. Absolutely love it. It's a beautiful wheel. But for trucking and whatnot, it's it's no good with a flat bottom and for drifting and things like that, which is why I wanted the hub. So uh, yeah, for eye racing and things, I'll probably use a BMW more than anything at the moment. I've just got my new wheel. I just want to test it. So that's all it is. But primarily, this wheel is bought for trucking, like. But I just I'm a little bit gutted on the size. I love it. For a racing wheel it's stunning but I wanted a 350 for trucking I wanted it to be bigger but uh, it still feels great like I got the BMW room because it's my dream wheel I absolutely love it problem is if I use it 10 hours a day every day I'm gonna ruin it they don't last forever things do wear out Alright, we'll do one more lap in and then we'll go and see if we can find somewhere a bit more populated. Might even try out my F1 wheel in the uh, in the little, uh, they've got a, not a skip bar, Star Mazda I think it is. Or the Renault, they've got the formula of the Renault, so I might go and try that out. And funny enough, I don't know if anyone's ever tried it, but changing your wheels does actually change how the car feels, it really does. So, no, it does. Matthew Graham, uh, could I confirm some today? I have mods you have. Uh, I'm not really doing that at the moment, Matthew, because if I went on yours, I would need to go on everybody's end, which wouldn't really be fair. Who's morning? My stream flickering. That's weird. I don't know what's going on there, like. Is that happening on the stream as well? Yeah, it is. What? Why is it flickering? Why? Like a what? Yeah, I'm, I know it's flickering, I'm quite aware. I don't know why it's flickering. Right, we'll go somewhere else anyway. 
Right, so the, these daily, not daily, but the streams that I do on iRacing through the day, I don't know how much actual racing I'll do, it's more just because I'm going to start racing with my dad on a, on a Wednesday, uh, 9 till 11. So I want to make sure that I'm getting a little bit of practice in through the week, because I don't do a lot of racing anymore. Oh, that's a good car. A lot of 79. I'm going to go and have a, a quick run around in that, because this wheel will be lovely for the Lotus. Should I pick this game up? Twin Turbo, it's not really a game that you just pick up. It's an awful lot of money. Each track's around about $12, $13 a track. Oh no, $15 a track. £12 a car, I think it is, or $12 a car. I can't really remember, but it's expensive. Honestly, don't be surprised. It's more of a game that you pay per month for, and then uh, loose cable. No, I have everything I've got fully cable managed. Like nothing's nothing moves. <laughs> uh, but no, as I say, the it was flickering in the stream, which means it's to do with computers or internet or something. But uh, no, the game it's it's somewhere it's somewhere where you buy your subscription. And then you, over time, so every weekend you might buy a new track or something like that. It is expensive. Yeah, you got to buy each car, buy each track, yep. Yeah, it's there. Yeah. I bought mine a while ago. In regret, unfortunately, but uh, now I've got it, I may as well enjoy it. All right, this this is a fun car. This this is, I've not been in this for about seven or eight months, but uh, this is a cracking car. This what well, I'm more than what am I more than about? I didn't even know it was morning. Well, I apologise for morning. Sorry, I'm just tuning in my revenue counter. Oh, the force feedback's violent on this. I don't want to put my F1 wheel on with uh, with having to use a gearbox. This is a hate shifting car, you see. It didn't have an F1 wheel in it. Oh, this is fun. We should get into racing this. Fast feedback is so different. I'm pretty sure I can up change without the clutch and down change with the clutch. I think how it needs to be. That's it. Yeah. Right. So you up shift without the clutch in this, and then down shift with it. hard to get used to. One of the things I like about iRacing is they do, if it's got a dog box or a straight cut boxing, they do everything how it would be in real life. We need a pedal cam on though. Oh, this wheel's perfect for this. This is lovely. I'm, I'm enjoying this.
I need to turn my force feedback back down. Oh, I've got that rope. Just gonna let this guy past. Right, turn the force feedback back down there. Because I was messing up with force feed, but on we go. See if I chase him down a bit. Sorry, what's up there? Because if your speedo is big, we can't see your left screen. Oh, is that what it is? Right, okay. I'll just turn that off then. I can't make that any... If I make that smaller, you can't see anything. I'll just turn the gear cam off, or should I just turn the... I'll just turn that off and then just stick that down there then. I was just trying to give you something so you could see what times I was doing and that, but I don't know. There's always something wrong for some reason. Alright, are you healing to all when slowing down? Yes, I am, yeah. So you upshift without the clutch. So no clutch on the upshift. There's a car coming down. So I'll just let him down. So you just lift the throttle and then change gear on the up. And then on the downshift, you brake with your right and then flip the throttle with your left. Uh, with your with your heel. the horn so I can fit the horn on as well. Uh, gear stick, it's a Fnatic uh, V1.5 it is, shifter. Oh, I used the clutch. <laughs> I wasn't meant to, I forgot. It's nice to be back in this car, I forgot how much I love this car. Yeah, sorry if it's a bit boring today, but I just wanted to get some uh, a bit of track time in, you know, in some different cars.
Get in the way a bit now. Get the toe in. Oh yeah, the game has tie away, yeah. Too low gear, my bad. Hey Mark, how are you today? Uh, yeah, top gear, it's a new wheel on buddy, how are you doing? You alright? And your beast, how's it going? I can glance at a few people, but I'm gonna go and change car. I wanna, I wanna try out the F1 wheel anyway. So I'm gonna go and try out one of the F1 cars. I just wanna try out a few cars in the game today, really. I don't think I will actually go racing. I think we'll just uh, do a bit of practicing. I think. When I'm going back on the farm server, I won't be. I'm tempted. I think what I'm going to do with the farm server is I'm going to start using it with my dad and some regular people that I know will look after it. somewhere else right so we're gonna go and try the F1 wheel out that's gonna be the next job uh, someone said they wanted the wanted that back on okay pedal cam I can't really do a pedal cam today uh, to be honest uh, I could possibly do it next time Right, so we are going to. I think it's a Mazda. Is it? I can't think where I'm going. I'm going somewhere. If I remember correctly, they used to have Star Mazdas, but then they added in the uh, the Renault, the Renault Formula Renault. I think I can't. I can't really remember. So what we're we dealing with here? So we've got Skip Barber. Remember that. Uh, Pro Mazda. So there's a Pro Mazda. Radical. I Racing Cup. Formula Weno. That's the one. What track's it at? Suzuka. Oh, I don't know Suzuka that well. I actually don't. Uh, uh, there's a few people in that room. Right, I need to just grab my F1 wheel and take my static paddle shifters off. The only downside is the static paddle shifters don't work with the... Well, they do work, but they just don't uh, fit with the F1 wheel. So I was thinking, can I just hang them somewhere? That would be easier if I could just hang them on there. Alright, we'll just hang them on there. They're out the road. Perfect. Lovely. Alright. I may as well bring the F with me BMW rim down, seeing as everyone's talking about it. Oh. Alright. Let's get going. Afternoon, Mark. How's it going? Mark, when did you get the new steam wheel? Uh, today. It just I unboxed it on this stream, Top Gear. Uh, just came in today. The other one stinks. So if you go back to the about 10 minutes into the stream, I did actually set it up on stream. So Hi, I'm from the Czech Republic. Uh, because of you, I bought a fanat uh, Fanatic wheel. I apologize. Oh, you don't need to apologize for your English. At all, I do understand. Right, oh, 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 this feels nice. Very clicky paddle shifters. 
<laughs> right, afternoon. Hey, Jack Vlogs, how's it going? I'm going to a track I don't actually know that well. So we should be all right at that. Oh, here we go. I've not been in this car for a long time. I've got the racing line on for some reason. What the hell was that? No idea. That's not good. I don't think it was too important. Right, driving line, I can turn that off. Hang on. Oh, that's not right, that was a big bang, that. I don't know what that was. Right, let's go out and do a bit of practicing. There's quite a few people in here, so which is good. Uh, I'm going to move my wing mirrors back a little bit. Right. So the only thing is, if you want to adjust the view, you've got to go in here, go into cockpit view on the replay, pause the replay, then press Control and F12 to then adjust the view, which I've got to be honest, it's a bit weird. Uh, I'll go with that, see how that runs. Right. Do you have a ghost in the room? Possible, mate. Ian says, hi, Matt, big fan of your videos. Uh, you're doing, uh, keep up the good work, uh, bro. Being substance of day one uh, with you. Oh, cheers, buddy. Right. Clutch to set off. Oh, this is going to take a bit of. I'm not a big uh, F1 fan, but I would love to get better at it. Feedback's like weak as out. Oh, that wheel feels beautiful. Oh, not a big, big fan of this track. But the only way to get faster is to drive, so. Yeah, the only problem is I'm not going to be able to race every video because you need to practice, like, you just, you just do. That was the only reason I wasn't going to bother with iRacing was such a serious game. You need to, you need to be spending the time on it.
feels really, really good though. Feels very accurate. I'm just going to change that view slightly. Hey Transport! Got Victor in as well. Hiya Victor, how you doing? Alright, I'm just going to change that. And I'm actually going to put it up again. Plus one, there we go. I've got anyone else that I've majorly missed or not? Uh, Jake Paul, afternoon Mark, how's your day going? Going really well, thank you buddy. Hi Mark, nice F1 wheel, I uh, love to play F1, I'm a big fan. Awesome buddy. And Jimmy, do you have a ghost in your room? Possibly mate. <laughs> Possibly, definitely. Yeah, there's a convoy tonight at Plymouth, uh, server one, at nine o'clock tonight. Lewis has just tuned in, how are you doing buddy? Just turned a few laps trying to get into the different cars and whatnot, it's good. I fancy you running a GT car. I used to drive the BMW a lot so God I'm not good in this car I tell you Paddle shifters are really snappy. Nice though. Very positive. Do another lap. Didn't like that. Third gear for that.
I just wanted to get a rough time in if I could. Just so I can kind of see what the, how far off I am and try and get a, a guideline of what races is going to be worth entering and what I need to practice a lot more. I know I'm not very quick in these cars, I know I'm not. Lovely. Right, I fancy a blast in a GT car. I know this is a bit of a mess of a, of a stream, this, because I'm just out one car, in the other, out, out another, in another. But uh, I just wanted to, um, since I've re-got iRacing again, I've not had just a really good play where I've just got in a car and just enjoyed it, you know. Right, so I'm going to go and check out the BMW GT3 car. Right, so where's the BMW racing at this week? Because they change the races every seven days, I don't know if you guys know, but... Once we actually start racing properly, I'll kind of show you more how you pick a race and and, uh, and and what the difference is. So it's a Fnatic GT challenge at the moment, I think. So that's the Aston Martin. No, I want to run in the... Uh, where's the GT3s at? Fnatic Global Challenge, is that it? No. Right, Imster... Porsche, so where's just the GT cars? Ah, VRS GT Challenge, that's it. <laughs> it's around Suzuka. Interesting. Right, I've got a quick update I need to do. I don't actually own the Ferrari because they, re they released a Ferrari. And I don't own it, so I'm just having a quick 228 meg update, so I'll just read some chat. Right, Ian says, Hello Mark, I'm trying to get my PC, my, get into PC gaming. Uh, first time looking to get my PC gaming PC set like yours. As I love your setup looks sick and cool. How is your family and your health uh, stuff going? Family's doing good. Uh, health, again, is, you know, better than it was last year. Uh, so, yeah, I can't really argue, to be fair. Uh, what else have we got? I'm on band at 855, just checked, so going to be a tough one. <laughs> All right, so you missed the first. Oh, yeah, no, you'll get in, actually. We start at 9 tonight, so, hey, Mark, love the new shoes. Uh, you should... Uh, have them engraved with your name, logo or something uh, in the back of your chair. I, I have thought about it in the future, definitely. Uh, not maybe it's my logo, more maybe it's if, you know, like Simlabs or someone who's trying to help me out with the channel. I'd rather put that on there because, you know, it's helping them out then. Uh, nice little bro, must have cost a heap. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, I would say, I, I pay, I've paid for this through donation so I can't take the uh, the credit for it Mark I wanted to buy a T150 and Christmas buy the shifter for it should I buy it I'm new these car simulations continue with your great work uh, yeah I mean T150 or if you could save the little bit more and buy a TX or a, or a, a T300 definitely a better wheel uh, yeah, the T the, the T one fifty is basically the same as a G twenty nine, but you get a lot less with it. However, if you get the shifter and then the pedals, you can then change out the wheel later on. 
Right, so we're going around Suzuka in the BMW Z4 GT3 car. The only reason I'm going around in this car is because I used to drive this car all the time. Oh, that's a bit full for me. Alright, we're going here. It's a bit full. There's 29 people in and it's 30 server. So there's 30 cars in this practice. So it'll be a bit busy and I might get in the way a bit. But who cares? <laughs> Uh, love playing Euro. Awesome, buddy. Awesome. Well, I was thinking actually not doing Euro today and just going straight on the farm after this. I'm going to take the dogs out and then go straight on the farm. And then I could definitely do two hours on the farm. Instead of going doing two hours single player Euro truck and then not having time to farm. My first theme wheel was the Xbox 360 one. Then when I got my first PC, I went and bought a second hand uh, Yeah, it was a second hand Thrustmaster F430 it was. It was from uh, Gumtree, I think it was about 30 quid. Great wheel, still got it. Tazzy Nate says hi, uh, tell him I said hello. Afternoon Terrier, how you doing mate? Mikko Gaming's in, how are you doing? Uh, who else have we got? Uh, Iris says hello, hello mate. Uh, I'm playing Oakfield at the moment. I really enjoy it actually. Why is the stream flickering? Well, this is dating a while again. <laughs> you glad it's Friday, mate? Yeah, I bet. Absolutely. Come on, Lord. The only thing is, when you get like 30, 40 cars into a big track, it does start to get busy. Alright. Alright. Let's be having you then.
tell you what, we're definitely going to need a few episodes of just practicing, I think, because it's um, so bad, so rusty. But if you don't play someone for six or seven months, it's going to do it. It's not even like I've been playing other racing games, because I haven't, so definitely, definitely want to get back into it big time, like, definitely. Oh, it's good though, it's addictive. Min. Nice to be back in there uh, doing a bit of race. It's where, oh, it's where it all started for me. Jesus Christ. Come from driving the like the F1 style of car, the single seat around here. It's uh, <laughs> it's a bit different. It's gonna do sort of two to five laps and then I'm gonna go and have a go somewhere else. I just wanna to spend today enjoying all the different vehicles. Trying out my different wheels and just, just, just enjoying the game for what it is. It takes about 40 minutes to an hour to do one race, so it's too late now to do one anyway, so I may as well just enjoy it. Oh, you just got the UPS uh, <laughs> email, yeah. Fanatic's pretty good, like, and it's, uh, there's one thing for sure, they get it to you as fast as they can, so.
Right side. Clear on the right. Well, I've got no idea what I'm doing. Right side. Clear. That's a rev counter, the blue, the thing with the blue, the blue uh, light and the orange dial. Uh, the one with the four is obviously what gear you're in. Alright, I'm gonna call this my last lap and then we'll go somewhere else. Yeah, definitely gonna need to do some practicing, but uh, it'd be good because, like I say, I'm gonna be on with my dad, so. It's a rev counter. It's just a rev counter. It's just a normal car rev counter. I can show you when I change my wheel after this race. Uh, not this race, after this practice. But yeah, it's just a normal car rev counter. My dad can find a way around the track, yeah, my dad knows race tracks better than I do, definitely, he's done, he's done more of it than me, not physical racing but he's a lot more seat time. Right, so for the person asking, it's a rev counter, there you go, you'll be able to see it a bit better now. So yeah, it's just, uh, it goes up to 11 RPM and uh, it's got a, a light on it, so it's got a shift light on it for when you want to change your gears. That's pretty much it really. Right, so we're going to go, I'm going to go, if, if I've got the track, I don't know if I do, I should do, I want to go to the old Audis. I never actually, before I stopped playing the game, I never got much time in it. Uh, so it's a Camel GT series, I think it's called. Uh, Camel GT series, there we go. Yeah, Road Atlanta, another track that I'm pretty useless at. Excellent. Uh, well, there's no one on, though. No. Ah, well, we'll go and have a run. Right. May as well stick these back on. So I'll be putting them on for farming anyway. Hey, 
Excellent. All right, just waiting to join the session. Love the Audi sound, yeah, me too, mate. Yeah, uh, Terry, you been playing F1 2017, been enjoying it outside of the farm sim. Awesome, mate. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just an analog rev counter. Yeah, how much do you spend on your setup? I just want to get something like that for truck sim, but gonna take a long time. I honestly don't know, Chris. I don't know. Morning, Mark. Uh, come from work. How are you doing? Marlon, how's it going? Uh, I broke my rev counter by playing racing games. I'm looking for a digital rev counter now. Ah, okay. Right. This is a car. God, I've not been in this for ages. What a sound. I don't know if you guys can hear it like. Jerry mate, how's it going? Well, that's my lunch break over, see you later Terry. Yes, these are TVs, yeah. Gonna run a few laps around here. In the tracks, I would say, is the biggest problem. Oh, lad. Too fast on the gear changing. Can't remember if I can take this one in third, then this one in second. <laughs> no, fourth and second, I think. Hey, Jay. I don't know how long we'll be left on this stream, to be honest. But uh, is this only? Oh, it's only five speed. <laughs> oh, please, I'm not racing this. No, on a serious note, though, I don't know whether to play farming next or trucking. I normally do trucking next, but the farm streams are suffering a bit because uh, I'm struggling. They just seem to be short all the time. But then, if I do, if I do farming next, it means I'll then do trucking and then trucking again straight afterwards for tonight. So it'll be like two truck streams in a row, which is a bit daft. I always try and put farming in the middle. Ah, 
Hey Rob, how's it going? I'm in the Audi 90. Tight corner that one. Farming for once. And I farm every day, Jay. You don't need to be like that. I'm just saying, if I do farm next, it means there'll be four hours of Euro truck. I love this motor. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun, man. Ah, oh, cut the trap. My daughter was born yesterday morning. Oh, fantastic. That is a big baby, mate. That's really, really good news, mate. I'm pleased to, I hope, you know, give my wishes to both of them. I hope they're both well. And uh, congratulations to you and your wife. Game's a bit loud, that's the first time anyone's ever said out. Right, what headset are we using? Love the sound, oh, it sounds mint, doesn't it? Uh, headset wise, I'm using the Corsair Void, not the Pros, because uh, the Pros weren't out when I when I bought these, so yeah, we're not on the Pros. Andy T, how we doing? Can't be too loud, it's an Audi, exactly. Right, I'm going to go... I'm running a few laps back in the, uh, where's the, not the Grand Touring Cup, the one series. I'm going to go and run a few laps back in here, this is where I won the other day. Uh, I'm probably going to run it again at some point, so I'm just going to go and run a few laps in the Mazda Cup. Uh, good, cause uh, game. What? Good for the game, loud. Uh, cause that's what it was like in real life racing. That's what I'm saying. Like it's no good if you can't hear the car. Right? If you can't hear the car, then what's the point? I've watched some of the streams back where people have told me to turn stuff down and that, and I'm like, you can't hear the game. Do you know what I mean? Come on, Lord! I want to get in the game. Do the thing. Alright, Fnatic uh, Dash. <laughs> Jay, yeah, I know. It's pretty amazing, to be fair. Uh, very lucky to be able to be even asked to set a goal for it, so I'm, I'm uh, yeah, fantastic, mate, yeah. 
It's very, very nice. The only thing is you guys won't be able to see that much, but maybe he's on the new camera. You might be able to see a bit more. Uh, Alright, so why can't I join? For some reason it won't let me join. I don't know why. Alright, Burnley FC, how are you doing? Andy T, uh, good man. Awesome, mate. That's good to hear. I cannot load the Mazda for some reason. Aha, we're in. Right, where else are we? Do you like the Tesla? Uh, I think so. Uh, I think the world's got to move in the right direction and, you know, we're going to need to save... We're going to need to save money on on stuff like that eventually, you know. So, yeah, I like I like truck sounds. I like proper sounds of things. So, electric stuff's not for me, but you cannot really complain. The world's got to move in a certain direction. So, at the end of the day... Uh, excellent. He's removed his comment. Game can't be too loud. It's an Audi. The game is a little loud. Uh Cool, how are you today, Jerry? How's the back and that today? Obviously, it won't be any better than it was yesterday, I will it? Alright, oh. 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 oh.
Alright, uh, everyone's got all this sorted. <laughs> yeah, shoulders are good. Sore, but good. Uh, right, uh, everyone's, has everyone calmed everyone down? Excellent. It's nice to see even not just the mods that try to calm people down, so it's just just look at it this way, there's always somebody else who's worse than me, so and and you know, other people at the end of the day. I'm alive, I'm doing what I enjoy, so that's the main thing. I can't see straight yet, but that'll come. Tell you what, definitely twisted me foot. See, because I've because I've lived with this for like five years, I, I can get on with it a bit quicker than probably someone who hasn't. <laughs> Especially when I used to have a lot more per day. I don't have that many a day now. I only have sort of one to sort of two, one or two. Sometimes three, but I don't really have bad days anymore. It's still bad, don't get me wrong, but compared to having like 10, 15 a day, it's terrible. Oh, that's what I'm saying. If I didn't have shoes, that's why I used to wear trainers, so. I thought if I buy actual racing shoes, I won't wear them outside. So, whereas if I bought another pair of trainers, you find yourself downstairs and you're like, oh, just nip outside and put the rubbish out. And all of a sudden you step into it, then your shoes are dirty, and then you get wrong for walking up the cream carpet with the dirty shoes on. That was why I wanted to take sort of sparkle shoes, because I'll never wear them outside. So I wouldn't want to ever get them dirty, so. Yeah, the problem is with the content picking back up again on the channel and I'm streaming a lot more like I used to, unfortunately you will see them more often. You go back to some days and people are like, oh I didn't see one on the video today and you're like, well, I only streamed for like three hours that day. It's only three hours of my 20 hour day, you know. I certainly don't want anyone feeling sorry for us. That's not what it's about at all. If it ever became about that, I'd, I'd just go back to recording videos and then I can remove the seizure from the video. I don't know what that flickering is on the OBS. I'm sorry, I, I really... I'll maybe check my internet after this. I'm going to race this uh, this week, I think, so I just want to do another few laps with a practice on here. Loving the new wheel, I must admit, it feels fantastic. I love the yellow stitching as well, beautiful wheel. Goes with me harness pads. We're running fairly quick around here now. Yeah, this is about three, 340, I think. So yeah, it's definitely bigger than a T500. I can show you the difference between this and the T500 if you want. Oh, now I've got my head mixed up. <laughs> I wanted to see if there was anyone on. I, can't, I only came in this server because there was loads of people in it, but they've all left, so I'm just going to go back and join a different server.
Right, you want to see the difference between the T500RS wheel and this wheel. Uh, two seconds, I'm just going to find a different server. Right, withdraw from this event, yes. There's not really anyone in. Oh, there must have just been a race on. I think that's what it is, you know, there was a race on. Right, we'll go back in there. I'm just gonna, this lad wanted to see what the difference between a, a T500 RS wheel. So a T500 RS wheel is slightly bigger than the standard T300 RS wheel. It's 300 instead of 28. So that's it. So if I put that against that like that, you can see obviously it's a fair bit bigger. If I move it over so it's flush. Right, so that's it. Flush with the bottom and flush with the right hand side so you can see how much bigger it is. Uh, you know, you can see how small it is compared to compared to that. But uh, yeah, so there you go. My favourite colour is red too. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing uh, red's your favourite colour. Is no, it's not. I don't know. A TV's a sixty hertz. Yeah, uh, I don't know if red is my favourite colour. Uh, I got the seat, and I needed a seat at the time because I brought. I broke my old seat, so I needed a new seat, so, and they didn't have a black one in, and ended up getting a red one, and I really love it, but then I've ended up adding like a red handbrake, and red shifter paddles, red, you know, shoes, pedals are orange, so, I nearly went red harnesses, but, Most of your shoes are red, yeah, I know. I say it's becoming, it's becoming a bit, uh, a bit much now. I'm starting to need to change colour of things, but I don't know if a black seat would be too dark now. I don't know with the way that I record. That's it. My eyes are starting to come back now. Is it not better with 144? Yeah, definitely, yeah. 144 hertz is definitely better, but it depends what you want. Are you wanting better actual visuals? So, do you want a sharper, cleaner image? Or do you want a better experience? For me, it was about the experience. I can never go VR uh, because of my health problems, so I wanted a really good experience. And three 144 hertz, like 27s. One, they're really expensive. Two, they're quite small compared to this so I'm happy with 60 Hertz I couldn't afford to go 144 Hertz and, and the other problem is I couldn't afford to run 144 Hertz because you need to keep changing your graphics cards all the time to keep that 144 frame rate so for the things I play I'm better off with 60 Hertz and then obviously these were really cheap so that's why I bought them they're 190 pound a screen so it wasn't don't get me wrong, that's a lot of money, I understand that, but compared to some monitors, it's actually not bad. So I'll do ETS next, so I'm gonna go and get the dogs out. And, uh, and then do ETS and then we'll do farming tonight.
Well, I'll try and feed the dogs a bit earlier tonight and then take them straight out. So if I do ETS like two or four, Trying, trying to think what's the best time to do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll sort them out. I want, I want to do two hours of farming anyway, so. Right. I'm going to go and see if there's out else I fancy running. What do you think? Uh, I have 144 Hz triple screen, 24s with a 1080 Ti. Awesome, buddy. Yeah, brilliant. As I say, I couldn't afford that at the time when I bought these, so I had 980 at the time, uh, and I bought the screens out my own money. Uh, I actually, basically what happened was, I saved the money up to buy a simulator because I had a wooden one, and I saved the money up just after I started the channel. I had two, 3,000 subscribers. Simulator I wanted, I thought, I'll contact the company and see if they want to do a little deal or something. Contacted them and they, they, they were happy to send me out uh, the simulator, which was brilliant. So they sent me out the simulator and the monitor stand, which then freed up the money that I'd saved for the simulator and monitor stand. So I then used that money to buy the three screens. So I had like 580 quid or so to buy three screens. So uh, that's, that's what I did. Right, we're going to go in the... Porsche Cup around Brands Hatch. Excellent, that's where we're going. Uh, meeting at Plymouth, mate, yeah. What is better, an RX 560 or a 962 gig? Well, I'll tell you one thing, I'd be going for the one with the more RAM anyway. i7 8700 and dual to 1080s. Is that what you're running, Rob, is it? You've had an upgrade. Mark, I added a new computer. Is that literally what you've ordered? Jesus Christ. The only thing I would say is I wouldn't have gone for two 1080s, personally. Uh, just I had run two cards before and I just would not run SLI. Just games don't support it enough. You may as well just try and get the next card up. But, that's a hell of a computer you've ordered. We'll be here by the 23rd, Jesus Christ. That's some machine, that. Yeah, I've I, I need to change the description. This is a Club Sport, a Fanatic Club Sport wheel. It's the version 1 base. And then the Club Sport hub with, the, uh, with an aftermarket OMP wheel on it. I've got other rims as well here. But your 40 inch screens look good, uh, though, especially doing your truck sim. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I mean, I enjoy them. As I say, realistically, VR is your best bet if you really want to feel realistic, but... I'm on a break. All right, mate, take care. Custom built. Uh, I'm officially brought now. I bet, mate, that's, that's unreal. I should have gone 1080. I, I definitely... Uh, TI. But uh, I don't even want to, because one of the lads who've donated quite a lot to the channel uh, was saying the other day, and he was saying, oh, why don't you just put set a goal for a 1080 Ti? I wouldn't buy a 1080 Ti at the moment. They're just, the prices are ridiculous. They're not worth what they are, and I wouldn't then expect other people to pay that either. They're just not worth it at the moment. Excellent. Right, let's go. Right, we're on it. Brands Hatch, I like Brands Hatch. Right, warm up lap.
No, the point of putting the 1080 Ti in would be to give the desk an upgrade. Because I will put my 1080 in the desk, you see. That will be the point. I wouldn't buy it from eBay though, it would have to come from a... Uh, it would have to come from a shop. When I was looking at 1080 Ti's it was 630 quid. And I paid 530 for my... Oh Jesus. I paid 530 for my... Uh, my 1080. We're driving a Porsche GT3 car, just getting a few warm-up laps in. Is I racing worth getting? It just depends for, for what type of person you are. You either love it or you hate it. I already own it, so I may as well. I do enjoy it. it, it well, it's ridiculously over expensive. I paid 450 for your 1080, that's not bad. Nice turn now, I like that. Nine hundred for your ten eighty is brilliant, mate. And I, I hope you enjoy it. But as I say, for me, like games like you know Euro Truck and that don't support ten eighty. They don't support SLI. So you're just using one card, and it's just like, well, what's the point? A lot of the games I played, Farm Sim doesn't support. You know, most of the games that I played didn't support SLI. So I was only actually using one card. I don't get the jewels for gaming no more for 3D modelling. Yeah, well there you go, you've answered my question, so you've told me why you're getting them, which is fantastic. As long as you know that all. Right, uh Decent deal not long before the prices went crazy. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Right, I'm gonna call it there for me iRacing test. I've enjoyed myself so. I'm going to uh, go and do some trucking. So yeah, we're going to go and get some trucking done. Uh, I've got to go and sort my dogs out and then I should be trucking probably around about 2 till 4 I would imagine around that time. So I should be on about then. Make sure there's no questions missed while I stick my wheel on. Uh, What's he saying? Right. 
A single 1080 is more than sufficient for gaming these days. See, I don't, yeah, for what I do, I don't find it enough. Definitely not. I can't max games out at 60 frames, so it's definitely not enough for me, personally. Uh, but, you know, it's, it, it's good, it's just, I, mean, I stream off two separate computers now, and I still, some games, I struggle to get 60 frames. So... There we go. Sorted. Right, uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Chucking, uh, so you better with triples. Yeah. Right, I'll see you all in the next one, guys. If you do enjoy the iRacing content on the channel, please let me know. It'll stay anyway. But uh, the next proper iRacing will be on Wednesday with my dad at about 9 o'clock. Uh, 9 to 11. So look forward to that. Uh, other than that, I'll see you in Euro Truck Single Play uh, in around about 30 minutes ish. So it might be a little bit longer, I don't know. I need to go and take the dogs out. So it could be half past two. Between two and half past, I would think. Thanks again. See you all in the next one. And take care. Oh, my legs. <laughs> my legs are going. Right, see you in the next one.